In today's video, I'm going over the Rode SMR shock mount, how to set it up on your Rode microphone, and I'm answering the question, is a shock mount really necessary? Uh. Hey guys, this is Eric of Immersive Tech TV, and on this channel, I review awesome tech, gadgets, apps, and accessories. So if you're new here today, definitely consider subscribing to catch future videos just like this one. Also guys, just to let you know, down in the description box below, I'll include a link where you can find this Rode SMR shock mount, as well as Rode's other shock mounts that are compatible with different Rode mics. So if you haven't already seen my review of the Rode NT-USB Studio Mic, that's actually the mic I picked up to use with this shock mount. So I'm gonna be breaking down this review into four parts. First, I'm gonna talk about the build and design quality of the Rode SMR shock mount. Next up, I'm gonna talk about how to set this up on your mic and boom arm. Thirdly, I'm gonna talk about microphone compatibility with the SMR shock mount, as in which Rode microphones are compatible with this particular one, as well as which other shock mounts are compatible with different Rode mics. Lastly, I'm gonna talk about, is a shock mount really necessary for your needs? So with all that being said, let's start off with the build and design quality of the Rode SMR shock mount. The Rode SMR shock mount has a unique Recoat double lyre suspension system which enhances the existing vibration cancellation of Recoat's lyre system by using a smaller inner lyre to perform as a tensioning element. This keeps the lyres in the neutral position where they can cancel the most vibration. Another cool feature of the SMR shock mount is its removable all-metal pop filter. This all-metal pop filter is a huge plus compared to standard mesh pop filters because its durable build is built to last. Plus, it's also washable, which definitely helps for hygienic reasons. In terms of its build, the SMR's frame is made from an engineering-grade reinforced polymer, which is dispersed around the outside frame. And as a result, vibration forces are greatly reduced because of its wide mounting rails. And now I'm going to talk about how to set up the shock mount on your Rode microphone and boom arm. It's extremely easy to set the shock mount up on your boom arm. Right out of the box, all you have to do is attach the removable metal pop filter to the shock mount, then screw the SMR shock mount onto the top of your boom arm. After that, simply place your microphone into the shock mount, screw it in with the included base nut, and that's pretty much it. You're basically all set. As you can see, in this video, I'm attaching the SMR shock mount to the Rode PSA1 boom arm. This is an extremely durable boom arm I recommend if you're looking to mount your microphone. Now, if you'd like to see my review of the PSA1 boom arm, I'll link my review of it down in the description box below. Next up, I briefly want to discuss which Rode microphones are compatible with the SMR shock mount, as well as which shock mounts are compatible with Rode's other studio mics. So the Rode SMR shock mount is designed to be used with the Rode NT1 microphone and the Rode NT USB microphone. Rode does also include a base nut with the SMR shock mount, which also allows you to mount all other compatible Rode microphones. And some other popular Rode shock mounts are the Rode SM2 shock mount, which is compatible with the following Rode microphones, the Rode NTK and the Rode Classic 2. And another popular shock mount is the Rode SM6 shock mount, which is compatible with the Rode NT1000 microphone and the Rode NT2000 microphone. However, one of my favorite features of this Rode SMR shock mount compared to those other shock mounts by Rode is that this is the only Rode shock mount that comes with an all-metal pop filter, which is a really big plus for me. Lastly, I just want to explore the question, is a shock mount really necessary for your needs? So, when it comes to asking the question, is a shock mount really necessary, the real answer is, it depends. For example, if you're recording audio away from your desk, a shock mount may not be necessary because there's no chance of contact with your mic. But if you're doing any type of recording where you're sitting near the desk which your microphone's boom arm is clamped on, it will probably be beneficial since there's a higher chance of your body or hands coming into contact with the desk, thereby creating unwanted vibrations in your audio. But again, if you're on a tight budget, having a shock mount is obviously not necessary, but it's definitely a nice add-on that could be more than worth it for those who spend a lot of time live streaming, gaming, or even podcasting and really want to increase the quality of their audio recordings. Again, if you'd like to learn more about the Rode SMR shock mount, I'll link down below where you can find it, as well as the other shock mounts I mentioned in this video. And let me know what you guys think of the Rode SMR shock mount. Have you ever used a shock mount before? So thanks for checking out today's video on this Rode SMR shock mount. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, and definitely subscribe to catch new weekly videos on more awesome tech, gadgets, apps, and accessories. And if you would like to see a more in-depth review of the boom arm I used in this video, the Rode PSA1 boom arm, feel free to check out my review of it right over here. Lastly guys, if you have any questions about any of Rode's shock mounts, feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.